Hey YouTube, back again with another Enhanced Summon video. Wanted to give a shout out to my Patreons that got to see this two weeks early. If you're interested in that, check out the link in the description. So if you saw my last video, we did the follow me feature, but now I wanted to show you how you could drop a pin and have the vehicle go to a certain waypoint that you put on the map. So you can see that we dropped the pin right there, kind of in the middle of the parking lot, and it's a little difficult to see, so we'll zoom out in the app a little bit so you can get a better understanding of where the car is and where we set the waypoint. After trying this several times, we kept on getting this error, summon stop, no valid path found. And so I'm not sure if this is related to what we've seen before with regular summon and how that will fail or it will not summon if the ground is not completely flat. Put a link to that video up here. So after moving a waypoint, closer to the vehicle, we still got preparing to summon, and then summon is being stopped because no valid path found. So in this situation, that part of enhanced summon where you could just have it go to a particular point never worked. And so we had to switch to the find me option that you guys have seen. If you saw my last video, I'll put a link up there. So let's first look at it just from the outside of the vehicle without the app. So the car is doing something a little funky here. It pulls straight out of the parking spot like there's other cars, which tells me that it's able to see the lines, but then contradicts that theory when it backs up in reverse and then makes the turn. Now there's plenty of room for it to pull out, but I don't know why it thought it had to go backwards and then pull out again. Once it's pulled out of the parking spot, you can see that it's doing a great job, still limited to that three miles per hour to drive to the user's location. Now let's take a look at this clip again, but this time I want to show you what the app is seeing and how the car draws a route from where it wants to go inside the app. We're also going to look at the inside of the vehicle. So the car's chosen a path of travel that it wants to go on and started to move. But pay attention in the bottom right hand side of the screen, when this car goes into reverse, the little arrow guy is actually going to turn around, which showing the car pointed the other direction, which is kind of funky. And so once it goes in reverse, that's where the arrow turns around backwards. And so the car is actually showing you from the phone app that the car is moving in reverse to the user's location. I'd be a little concerned if I was in the bank watching the car on my app go backwards down the middle of the street. But then when I get outside and realize that the car is doing just fine and driving straight ahead, it would probably just make me a little concerned. And I think that's why this feature hasn't been released to the entire fleet and why this is just part of the beta testing program currently. A couple of you guys commented in my last video pointing out the, all the dry steering where the car's not moving and the steering wheel is just moving, grinding the tires on the asphalt. As painful as that was to watch, it was even more painful in person hearing the tires grinding against the asphalt doing all that dry steering. My hope is before that this feature, Enhanced Summon, becomes prime time they update the software and add a rule set in there requiring that the car to be slightly moving in forward or reverse anytime their computer is requesting to make a change to the left or the right. Overall, even though the enhanced summon didn't perform as well in this test as it did in the last test, I'm still super excited to see how Tesla will improve this feature and hopefully push it out to the entire fleet really soon. If you haven't seen any of my last videos, Tesla made a huge change to their referral program that gives you 5,000 miles of free supercharging when you buy or lease a Model S, X, or 3. Yes, you did hear me correctly. Use the link down in the description and get 5,000 miles of free supercharging the purchase or lease of a new Tesla. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I got another video coming out later this weekend, testing autopilot on backcountry roads. This time I did the same route, but in reverse. The autopilot struggled a little bit and you're not gonna wanna miss this video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.